still a part of us. If it works in Sicily, I do not think it was being in my sleep. Okay, do you use these anthropologists? This is okay, this is anthropology. Those two topologies, though, are rarely planned. Never do those uh, changes, those topological changes. The reason is not because this is not a Baku word. That, those are Baku words. Those work exactly as a Baku word. We not equal swing uh, or times D, whatever you want. But the problem is that we have to consider some effects of uh, electromagnetic compatibility, electromagnetic noise. Let's consider here that this uh, node, that this uh, point, is our reference. What is reference? What is reference usually is connected to a larger part of the PCB, could be the so-called ground plane. It could, it could be connected to the metal box, the chassis, your system. It's a larger, large area connected to this point. It's our reference point, ground. What in Italian is, uh, should be named uh, ground, well, uh, zero volt, zero volt, reference, elemento. In any case, it is not mass, it's ground. <coughs> anyway, if you make this, uh, you take this point as your reference point, and use the reference point to be bound to power supplies, negative or positive. Um, what happens is that uh, you look at the voltage, the output voltage here, you get the V0 equals 15 times V. But if we instead of looking at the differential voltage, the voltage across the load, you look at the, vo the voltage from this node to ground. A voltage that your load does not see because the load is uh, short sighted. The load only sees the difference across uh, it, and the difference across this is right. But if you look at the voltage on one side of the load, with respect to the ground, what happens is that when the, the switch is closed, the voltage over here is, uh, with respect to this point, V in, and uh, the voltage over here is being minus V now. When you open the switch, uh, diode starts to conduct, and this node <coughs> goes down to zero, and this node goes down to negative V naught. The difference between these two nodes is always the same. In one case, during V ohm, we have here V in, and we have here V in minus V naught. During V off, when the switch is open, The voltage over here is zero, and the voltage over here is negative zero. If you take the difference, V in minus V in minus V naught, it is V naught. If you take the difference during T off, V zero minus minus negative V naught, it is V naught, okay. So, for the load, everything is okay, but the fact is that these two nodes are moving up and down together, parallel, the same distance, by a large swing, the swing is uh, uh, big in, they go up and down by big in volts very fast because this switch closes in a tens, tens of nanoseconds and this diode kicks in in a tens of nanoseconds. So what you have is that your load is correctly supplied but its common mode voltage, is, its average mode voltage, the voltage, the average voltage across it is going up and down by big. That means you have an object an electrical object whose potential is going, full potential is going up and down by the A. This is a plate, a side of a capacitance. The rest of the universe is the other side of the, of the um, capacitor, capacitance. This point is the other side of the capacitance. And what you have, you have a big distributed capacitance with a lot of uh, voltage, high speed voltage, high speed changing voltage across it. And this is the best way to make uh, a radio transmitter. This is the best, the best way to generate a lot of electromagnetic noise. So, for a power electronic guy, this should be okay, could be, could work. But for an electromagnetic compatibility guy, they say, no, no, no. This is a no, no, because the load itself goes up and down uh, with uh, very steep uh, edges, what is edges. Not only, but there is also there are good power electronic guys and there are, and there are absent-minded power electronic guys or engineers. 
So, it could be that somebody, who's not the guarantee that is the part the designer of this stuff, could be the uh, PCB designer that said, oh, this is the negative of my load, I could make the negative of my load ground. Aha, we went in a short circuit. Because this node should be, should the swing between these two voltages actually fix it to the ground so that this not work. But even if I am smart enough and I, I don't connect my mistake, it is not to the ground because I say, oh, negative is ground, no, negative is not ground, ground is ground and negative is negative in this case. Even if I don't connect this to the ground, I have my electrical object that is a side of a capacitance that goes up and down with respect to the rest of the universe, with respect to the rest of the circuit. And this makes a lot of displacement power, a lot of electromagnetic loss. This works from power point of view, does not work from an EMI point of view, just for that. What about this one? Same story. When the switch is closed, this point is uh, at zero volts and this point is at uh, B9. When the switch opens, diode fixing starts to conduct, uh, closes, and uh, this node goes to positive B not, uh, sorry, positive being, and the output goes to this side goes to being plus B not. So we still have our load going up and down in potential. That is not a good thing. Actually, it should be rephrased better. It's a really, really bad idea. Um, otherwise, your EMI expert will just love you very much. What about this one? Bad, good, who knows, who cares? When I ask you a direct question with a yes, no answer, you have five possible answers that are yes, no, the no, who cares? What was the question? Well, there is a sixth one that is a snoring, but not a nice one. So, do the menu. Let's suppose that this is my Reference. Reference means it's connected to a large area of PCB, it's connected possibly to the box, it's connected to the negative to other parts of the circuit of your circuit. Um, this is big in with respect to this potential, this zero volt, this is big, that just this is just a piece of wire. And it is with A minus B now. You see that these potentials are constant. They don't move. So this is a good idea. This is a, you can do it. It has advantages or disadvantages, uh, depends. But if you need, you can go over this. Don't go over those solutions because that, those are really bad from the EMC electromagnetic compatibility point of view. <coughs> One more. Mechatronic gas, this is for you. Let's consider a circuit like this. Which aim? Transform, transform, uh, 
to the electrical side. Oh, here there is still the armature resistance because the winding has a resistance, but it's a reflector. So this is still a back cover with a model, an DC model, and uh, if you talk to electric guys, not electronics engineers, electrical uh, engineers, uh, they call it uh, chopper, but it's uh, still a back cover. But for us, chopper for uh, electrotechnical electrical engineers. Okay, that's so good. We saw last time that a possible analysis, the kind of an analysis I could prefer, is for, for any. Switch one from the other, is start with the inductor current. Draw the inductor current, that should be something like this. Well, hopefully, all cycles are the same because we are in cyclostationary conditions. And we found out what is the slope over here, that is, A minus U over L. A in minus V naught over L. So here is negative L. This time it's called T on because it's a period of time where I'm switching <coughs> on and this is T on. We will change these names. T on, T on, okay, but we will call also then T1 and T2. But there are two sets of names. Uh, use whatever you want. And the, the total period of time is called the switch. And we found that V naught equals V times T. Okay, under what hypothesis we derived this waveform and this uh, um, equation, this uh, relationship? Uh, in a time switching, uh, the time, the switching time, this switch is, is uh, shorter, far shorter than the time constant involved in the system. Time constant is basically given by. L, C, and this R, or in the resistance, inductor resistance, L over R, the resistance resistance inductance has a time constant that is far, far longer than uh, T on or T off. That means this is not a straight line in reality. This is uh, at least uh, um, exponential function, or could be a sinusoidal function, but if you look at to, to any a non-linear uh, function for a very short period of time in this right uh, Okay, this is step was one. No, second uh, hypothesis. No voltage drop across no the switch. No voltage drop across the switches. Okay, sure. Third one. Second station. All cycles uh, look the same. One more. Output voltage is constant, that means we neglect in this analysis we can neglect the ripple. Okay, let's start to remove, just for fun, one of these hypotheses. Let's just to say, let's suppose that the switches are not ideal. That is really true, switches are not ideal. So, if switches are not ideal, let's go over here, well, the waveform will still be something like this. It's equal. But this time, slopes are different. Because the voltage drop across inductors during T on, how much is the voltage across the inductors? That is, this is in minus the voltage drop across the switch, that is non zero, minus this switch, minus. In out, the out, over L. And what about if this is low? When the switch is open, current flows to the diode. And so that will be negative V naught minus V D. Or let me write it down but the other way around and it's a little bit clearer. Negative V D minus V naught. Over F is the voltage on the left hand side of the inductance minus the voltage on the right hand side of the inductance. 
ti vado a sbagliare. E io sento questo sono di fare. Can you still find B out of what is in front as a function of the <coughs> Oh, I forgot to mention that this uh, dialog uh, <coughs> is called the free wheeling dialog. In, uh, in English, the dialog is the uh, uh, di ricirco. Free wheeling. I don't know in French. The other of top. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, there are the equations. Can we find out uh, how much is uh, the output voltage uh, as a function of the input voltage and the cycle and the switch and the D? Sure. The equations are still exactly the same as uh, we wrote last time, just a little bit uh, longer. Because there are more terms, so we can write something like V in minus V switch minus V not or L times T on plus meaning minus V D plus V not just put the two negative signs together over L times T off this equals zero. <coughs> can you solve this equation? I want you to find the resources right here. I want you to find out the uh, not equals. Oh, by the way, in many cases you have here d on t off when you will write down this equation you need d on t off. But if you divide everything, every uh, term of this uh, sum by t switch. Nothing changes. And what is the on over the switch? Do the cycle. What is the off over the switch? One minus D. So in many cases, uh, instead of saying that T the duration, the on duration, this one is T on, I will just write down here this uh, duration, this time interval is D. Strictly speaking, it's not right because uh, D <coughs> is just a fraction. It's just a, a, a ratio. It's not a duration in seconds. D is not measured in seconds. It's measured in uh, dimensionless. But in many cases we can say this is D off or this is D. This is D off or this is 1 minus D. At that point, here on the axis, you don't have time anymore. You have time divided by the switch. At this point, the end of the cycle will be just 1. This length will be, will be just 1. One what? One kilometer, one second, one kilogram, one liter, one uh, oh, It's the uh, dimensions. So in many cases, I write I write here directly D over here one one minus D. That is the first observation. Second observation. This is mathematical. Uh, oh look, as we did already, add and then cancel out. And so I get uh, this equation and now we solve it. Idea. I got an idea. If the output voltage does not depend on L, because uh, the equation we found uh, last time does not contain L, if uh, the output voltage does not depend on L, I can avoid placing L in my circuit. I save money. Is it a good idea? No, for many reasons. Many reasons are, well, first, some common sense. If uh, it's 100 years that they put an inductor in a buff converter, probably it's needed. Second idea will be uh, electrical reason. If uh, we show this inductance, the moment we close the switch, we apply the E to the R. <coughs> That's uh, not a good idea. Third reason, mathematical reason, in order to cancel out L and L, or in order to have here L as a denominator, L must be larger than zero. It's uh, strictly forbidden here in this uh, polytechnic and any other univ good university in the world to divide by zero. Don't try it. Neither at all. Not here, neither at all. So, 
either here or not at all, was strictly forbidden to fly plastic. So L must, cannot be zero. We will decide how much uh, L must be. So just to solve this equation and tell me what is the result. V A minus V switch minus V naught times D. V D plus minus V D plus V naught uh, times one minus D. I want to know how much is V naught. Well, it will depend on the thing. I expect you to do it. This is the first time we do it, and we won't do it again for uh, quite a long time until the end of the class. <laughs> Times D. V times D. Minus the switch times D. Minus the switch times D, so Plus. let me just uh, factor it. V minus the switch times D. Plus. Plus. V diode. Times 1 minus D. Do you agree? I don't.
do you want to do your you wish you wish me to get an answer how much is the voltage supply voltage of a microprocessor a modern microprocessor not the microprocessor of the stone age one, one volt and seven volt go down go down the core is of one volt yeah. point nine one point two something like this at that point, if you are using these uh, small voltages, and your input voltage is not uh, very high, let's say you go down from uh, 2.5 volts to 0.9 volts, well, these numbers become uh, uh, very large, uh, important with respect to P0 and A. This just kills your uh, efficiency. We will deal with it in a few lectures. Okay. If you have losses, if you include losses, your output voltage will be smaller than you expect. And the two decided to get the activity exact, the one thing output voltage will be large. Oh, by the way, in your buff converter, you also add the fact that your inductance has a <coughs> inductance has a series of systems. This is L. This is R of the wine. It's not too large, but there is some. Uh, what happens is that output current flows also to this resistance, makes a uh, voltage drop. So your output voltage will be less than you expect. And so on, etc. Et Let's go back to our ideal, but if you don't like the ideal uh, stuff, I use the real one. Let's go back to the ideal situation. The ideal situation, if we work in CCM, is something like uh, V0 equals Vk times T. Nice equation, like, <coughs> and this describes how, how my buff converter works. Well, in order to assess if this circuit is a good circuit, bad circuit, so and so circuit, be careful to this, uh, go easy with that, etc. Uh, there are three parameters that can be evaluated for each topology. We will do this for each topology that we will study. And these parameters are how much the output voltage changes as a function of the input voltage. If I change the input voltage, keeping everything else uh, constant. Does the output voltage change? <coughs> what if, uh, how much the output voltage changes as a function of the design? How much the output voltage changes as a function of the output current, the load? Well, when you have functions, well, in this case, uh, those are these functions, but when you have a function of this kind, you can decide to find out, for example, one possibility is to find out the derivative partial of the output voltage with respect to the input voltage. You can find out how much is the derivative of the output voltage versus D, and here you can have the V naught over the input. Partial V naught the partial input. In this case, you have a parameter that is just valid in one point because you make a derivative. The derivative is valid in that point. If you choose, if you choose another working point, another input voltage, another side, another load, and these values can change. This differential, small signal, linear parameters are called the variation, small variation of the output voltage. Uh, versus the small variation of input voltage is called, don't ask me why, because you wish that I explain you, this is called the audio susceptibility. <laughs> it is a very old name uh, coming out from before the switching, coming out from the uh, audio. <laughs> dv not by dv, how much the output voltage changes the function of the DV cycle, is called gain. And dv not versus uh, dv not by di not, 
Christ. This is easy. That's the resistance. This is the output of the resistance. R not output resistance. Uh, output resistance. resistance. There are there's a nice to evaluate if you are if you remember your carbon stress, but they cannot be measured directly because it requires to make a very small change and having this change is going to zero and taking a limit, etc. So engineers in many cases, instead of using these parameters when they measure it, when they calculate it, they evaluate it mathematically, that those are fine. But uh, when they go to the lab and they have to measure something like this, they do something different. And they have something like this. Instead of a small variation of the output voltage, uh, refer to a small variation of the input voltage, they take a large variation of the input voltage, delta V naught over delta V in, with this delta V in goes from the minimum to the maximum of the uh, design parameter, the design requirement of your circuit. You have to design a circuit that. Uh, uh, must work, let's say, with an input voltage from 10 to 20 volts. Okay, instead of changing a little bit of the input voltage, you change it from 10 to 20. And you see how much the output voltage changes. It's similar to the cobalt. Oil is susceptibility. But it has a different name because it's not differential, it's large signal, and it is called uh, line regulation. It tells you how much the output voltage changes with a large change, limit to limit change to the input for the input voltage. Delta V naught divided by delta I naught. This is the equivalent of a <coughs> load regulation. Uh, no, it's the equivalent of the output resistance. This is called the load regulation. And in this case as well, you, you measure how much the output voltage changes when the load changes from minimum to maximum values or from two different levels. But large levels, large of change. Load regulation. Anything, something more needed over here in this list? DV not by DD, can we use it in the large, uh, for a large signal? It's meaningful. Delta V naught divided by delta V is not acute. It's never acute. It's far as I know. Okay? Oh. Let's go back. Here. What? The dimension of this parameter. What the gain, what the um, dimension of the gain? Both. Dimensions, not units. Both. Dimensions, not units. Yeah. What, what is the dimension of this gain? About. About. No, that's the unit, it's not the dimension. Dimension, dimension is voltage. Oh, oh, I didn't hear the second, uh, the second zero. But the unit is volt, dimension is volt. <laughs> that's weird, we have a, a gain measured in volt. Okay, we have to talk with it. And what is the dimension of this, uh, uh, of this um, parameter? That's the resistance, and it's measured in volts. Okay. Let's see how much are those parameters for our buff converter ideal working in CCM because we have only that possible. So if the V naught V naught equals V times V if you want to write it down the longer equation you find out a moment ago, be my guest. 
Dimmi no, vai, di, di, in. Voglio su sette bene, c'è e sono a stessa della decima, perché non mi sento che se arriva a timore. Dì, dì, dì. Dì. Dì, non se vai di, di. The game, o la parola, la parola, la parola, Oops, again, that is a moment. You already know games that are kilo, for example, plus and distance and fast. Now we have a game that is a measuring moment. Strange stuff, but it's all the things. Um, and here you start to see something weird, something that will, be, will give you some headache. That is the gain of our stage. How much my stage reacts in the output voltage due to a change in the duty cycle depends on the input voltage. If the input voltage changes, your gain changes. It's like a parametric amplifier. It's like an amplifier whose gain depends on some extra parameters, disturbance. And gain changes because our input voltage can go up and down, it depends on the specs of your uh, amplifier or your uh, switch mode converter. So we will have a gain that changes with input voltage. You will uh, find it. D not by the pressure D not of the pressure I know. Give me a value and special a number. Zero. Why? It's gone. Because it's I not is not this expression. If I don't consider any loss. If I consider, for example, that my tapens has a series of resistance, there will be a voltage drop across this resistance that depends on the output current, and so the output uh, impedance will be non-zero. But look at what is nice over here. Well, or not nice over here. Let's start from the not nice uh, uh, part. The gain of my state changes with the input voltage. Come on guys, you are engineers, you will be engineers. No, you are not engineers, you will be more engineers. So uh, you will have to cope with uh, uh, difficult problems. Second uh, uh, part, not so bad. Second part is the G. Um, audio susceptibility is D. And I can do something also here. Let me just add uh, one extra piece of information. The ratio of the voltage divided by the input voltage for any converter has a name, a specific, na uh, specific symbol that is M. I don't know why this is the letter M, but M is the output voltage divided by the input voltage. In the very specific case of buck converter, that is only for buck, this is always, but only for buck you have M equals D. M is always, hopefully, a function of the cycle, and in this case, M equals D. And you have the up for any converter, any, upper voltage equals the input voltage times M. And if you take the derivative, V0, uh, if you take the derivative, how much is V0 uh, as a value? Uh, how much did V not change as a V in? Take the derivative V not by V in. From this equation, what do you get? M. So the audio susceptibility for any converter is always uh, equal to the ratio of the output voltage divided by the end. Could be a buck, a boost, a boost, a shock. You can invent a new topology and uh, have it named uh, with your name. Audio susceptibility is always, always bad. So, this is bad. This is not so bad anyway. Everybody looks like this. And what about this uh, equation? With this expression? Output resistance equals zero. Good, the good of two That's not good. It's wonderful. It's awesome. <coughs> it's great because it means that my converter by itself looks like almost a voltage source. Output resistance is zero. 
So I have a very good uh, positive thoughts. Quite sad. This is not uh, the same for all converters. This depends uh, if your converter works in CCM or DCM. In CCM, your converter has, no matter what converter it is, it could be a buffer booster, a booster, a chuck, a zeta, um, something else, your converter will be almost an ideal water source. If you are in this continuous conduction mode, though, in DCM, your output impedance will be larger than zero, quite larger than zero. It changes. The schematic is the same, just changing the mode of the working, uh, changes the output uh, impedance. But if we stay in CCM, the output impedance is zero, almost zero, so uh, that's a very good thing, because we have ideal water sources. Okay, that's good. Now, I, I made a list of what I have to tell you. Now, let's go to this app to see how our converter works, how to design it, how to find the stresses. This is just a shorthand representative of the law. It's not part of the converter. You have no resistance in the converter. Output capacitor, inductance, diode, switch, input capacitance, and <coughs> positive negative, positive negative. And this is the number. Is it important if I put here positive negative, could I swap them? I can have a here negative, here positive, but in this case my dial has to be reflected. I have to flip the dial and the switch has to be the other time. If one is an MPN, the other one should be a PNP or something like this. You have to change the polarities. Uh, okay. If you look to some uh, theoretical books on uh, power electronics, there are some, such a thing like uh, power electronics, theoretical power electronics. It's not for engineers, it's for uh, people working outside the real world. You can find that the buck converter itself is just this part. Switch, dial, and This capacitor, somebody claims, is not part of the buck converter. The simple capacitor is not part of the buck converter. If I can tell you something real, it's bullshit. They must be that. Bullshit means... Uh, in a real converter, these capacitors must be there. And let's see why we place also these capacitors, why we use these capacitors. Let's consider here, let's go first to the output capacitor. Why do we want, we want to place here an output capacitor? Let's consider this node. And this node we call, has a, a voltage that we call it VA. If you don't like VA, call it John, Bob, whatever you want. Uh, I never came up with a uh, name for this uh, potential node. Not potential. VA, how much is, uh, what's the shape of VA in time? Well, let's consider one cycle, we are in cycle station conditions, the standard stuff. This is D on, this is D off, or this is D, this is 1 minus D, and in this case, uh, this point is not the switch, it's just 1. How much is VA during T off? Minus VD. Minus VD, no, T off is when the switch is closed. Ah, T off, V. V. If you want to be very precise, it's V minus. Uh, let's call it VA. VA. And if you want to be precise, you can put it V minus V. But just for okay. Then, switch opens, dial to start to conduct, and the voltage VA equals. Zero. zero. So the voltage over here goes down to zero. And then we return up and down as is periodic waveform. 
oh, this is the voltage is zero, or if you want to be very, very precise, the voltage over here is. <laughs> When diode conducts, what is over here? <coughs> Negative. Because current goes up, uh, the cannot, it's more positive to get to them, and this goes negative. Anyway, okay, this is we have a